The Inflation Reduction Act is now on its way to President Biden's desk to become a law, but so many of you are really concerned about the money that's included in the bill that would go to the IRS. I'm sure you've heard all over the internet that this bill is going to give the IRS $80 billion to hire 87,000 new agents so they can audit the middle class in small businesses. Here are the facts and a big piece that you may not already know. I've been reporting actually for more than a year here on this page that the IRS's budget has been gutted consistently over the last decade and their stuffing is so low it has caused a lot of problems like delayed tax returns and refunds. We all remember that drama, right? Well, that's because the IRS didn't have enough people to actually handle the volume of returns. And they have a lot of outdated equipment that just simply can't keep up. And because of the budget cuts, they haven't had the money to fix those things. So now that you know the IRS's budget has been absolutely gutted over the last decade, that will give you some context to understand why Congress just gave the IRS $80 billion in funding over the next several years. The other fact you need to know is absolutely nowhere in this bill does it say the IRS must hire 87,000 auditors. What the bill says is of the $80 billion the IRS is going to get, about $45 billion of it will go towards expenses for tax enforcement services. And that money is spread out over the next nine years. That money can be used to hire more employees, not just agents who handle audits. In fact, the Department of Treasury says the claim of 87,000 new agents is simply false. Now, to the other claim that the IRS is going to start auditing the middle class and small businesses as a result of this law. The IRS commissioner wrote this letter to the Senate on August 4th. In the letter, he said the money will help the IRS go after large corporate and global high net worth taxpayers, pass-through entities, and multinational taxpayers with international tax issues, where sophisticated, specialized IRS teams are needed to dissect the complex web of how these companies and high net worth people structure where their money goes. He goes on to say, quote, these resources are absolutely not about increasing audit scrutiny on small businesses or middle-income Americans. As we've been planning, our investment of these enforcement resources is designed around the Department of Treasury's directive that audit rates will not rise relative to recent years for households making under $400,000. The reality of tax audits as they stand right now the middle class and low income Americans get audited at a much higher rate proportionally than rich people and big companies. Why? Because rich people and big companies have a lot of lawyers and a lot of accountants who can help them get creative with what they report to the IRS about their money. In fact, I told you in this video back in June, the IRS reported their resource limitations have prevented them from going after high income earners who make more than $5 million a year, like they did back in 2010 to 2017.